Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. Uh, Plus-sized model Sarah Milliken has recently been crowned Miss Alabama over the Memorial Day weekend, and it's stirring up a lot of controversy. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit more about this story by taking a look at a couple of articles. Is this promoting an unhealthy lifestyle, or is this just inclusion and showing different types of body diversity? Stick around to find out. Please be sure to check out my second channel where I react to things not related to fat acceptance. It's called Cynical Reacts. I recently released a video on that channel about how Jojo Siwa has gone even further off the rails. Here's a link. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. All right, the first article we're looking at is from the Daily Mail. Who is Sarah Milliken? Meet plus-sized Miss Alabama winner as she divides the internet with pageant victory and slams trolls after being branded an unhealthy embarrassment. Sarah's dream of becoming Miss Alabama has been eight years in the making. Plus-sized model Sarah Milliken, 23, is making headlines after being crowned Miss Alabama over the Memorial Day weekend. She was overjoyed when she bagged the top prize in the National American Miss pageant. However, her happiness was short-lived as vile trolls quickly began taunting the winner about her appearance. Okay. Sarah was met with a barrage of hate online, with people branding her an unhealthy embarrassment and questioning, is this actually considered attractive in Alabama? <laughs> Even something that you type over a screen can have a lasting impression on people, the model told WKRG. She is determined not to let the harsh criticism hold her back as she prepares for the national final which will be held in Florida over Thanksgiving. Okay, so here's Miss Alabama. Okay, so one of the controversies around this is that some people are saying that she's not really Miss Alabama. That title actually belongs to the Miss America and Miss USA pageants. This pageant is actually by some company called National American Miss, which literally nobody has ever heard of. And I'm going to be going over a story explaining all that in a minute. Alright, so here's a picture of the new Miss Alabama. Plus-size model Sarah Milliken, 23, is making headlines after being crowned Miss Alabama over the Memorial Day weekend. Here's the moment Sarah Milliken is crowned as Miss Alabama. Let's look. Is this even a real pageant, bro? Like, this seems like it's 10 people in a room, right? So they fabricated this pageant or something? <laughs> like, what's happening? All these other girls are like, what the hell? This girl over here was like, dude, what? Yeah, this chick right here, she's like, dude, what? Okay, so that looked like an auditorium full of 10 people. Who is the new Miss Alabama Sarah Milliken? Sarah is a plus-sized model from Atmore, and her dream of becoming Miss Alabama has been eight years in the making. This is not her first time competing in the pageant, as she has competed for the crown twice before, scooping the win on her third try. Sorry, I'll just read normally. She was 15 when she first took part in a National American Miss pageant and wanted so desperately to win. Yeah, don't get National American Miss confused with Miss America. America or Miss USA. Wanted so desperately to win, however, was disappointed to find out she didn't place. Sharing her story on Instagram last week, she wrote, At 16, I came back as a teen. I worked so hard and changed everything about myself. Everything about yourself? 
They didn't mention anything else that could use improvement? I became who I thought they wanted. Days before the pageant, I had a mean boy tell me I was too ugly to win. I was going to prove him wrong, so I went into pageant weekend with the fire under me. I didn't even place. I swear this is a made-up story. She continued, I was humiliated and hung my head low, thinking my non-placement meant one thing. He was right. I vowed to never compete again, so I didn't for seven years. This weekend, I returned to the NAM stage to prove to myself I didn't give up. I could do this. I was more than the mean things that was said to me. That was said to me. I mean, that were said to Whatever. Either way, this, that's irrelevant. Okay, so you decided to change and give the judges what they want, which was like a bigger smile or something, I guess. That's all they wanted. So did they give this person the trophy just to be charitable or like as a token trophy or what? I have no personal opinion on anybody's appearance, of course, but Sarah is a plus size model from Atmore and her dream of becoming Miss Alabama has been eight years in the making. Yeah, you keep saying that. What, because she competed like seven years ago and then failed and now she's competing all these years later and she won, so now it's eight years in the making. Well, just like in modeling, uh, typically to be ready for a pageant, you take care of your physique. So those other people that did take care of their physique, they must feel pretty annoyed to see somebody who didn't win the pageant. Like I can imagine being a non plus size model and having to eat right and exercise and do all this stuff. And then you see a plus size model and you're just like, why did I do any of that stuff? How come I have to be perfect and this person doesn't? She was overjoyed when she bagged the top prize in the National American Miss pageant. However, her happiness was short-lived as vile trolls quickly began taunting the winner about her appearance. What do you mean her happiness was short-lived? Like, she got all shocked and surprised when people started making fun of her weight? Like, that's never happened before in her whole entire life? Yeah, I don't buy that at all. Somebody that's living in a larger body is probably used to getting guff from people online. So when she won this competition, you would expect that she would be used to that sort of criticism. She responded to an open call and competed by taking part in a series of interviews, volunteer work, and presentations. Scoring in the pageant is based on personality, confidence, and communication, according to organizers. Okay, so it's not a beauty pageant at all. Braces, glasses, skin problems, varying heights, weights, and appearances are all a part of creating the special and unique individual that you are and that we want to celebrate, the website states. What? Okay, so beauty pageants are no longer about beauty. They're about braces, glasses, skin problems, varying heights, weights, appearances, all part of creating the special and unique individual that we want to celebrate. What? Okay, so beauty pageants don't mean anything anymore, is what you're saying. We just give the award to the person that we feel the sorriest for, right? We want to celebrate you with your braces and your messed up skin and all this crap that is said. So what's even the point, right? I don't need a bunch of people to give me a medal just because they think that I need to feel special this weekend or whatever, right? Like, what's the point? On her pageant profile, Sarah revealed that she wanted to be the very first plus-size NAM Miss Alabama to show other women that they could do anything they put their mind to. How does that show anyone anything? You went to a place and they put a sash around your midsection, right? You didn't actually do anything. And some would argue that this pageant is total bollocks to begin with, right? Like, they're not even looking for the most beautiful, so it's not even really a beauty pageant. What even is it? A participation pageant? Everybody's the winner. So what's the point? It's okay to compete at things as human beings, right? We've been having competitions and crap against each other for thousands of years. It's okay. Not everybody can be a winner. It's okay. She added, I plan to shatter glass ceilings in pageantry to create a path for other women to chase their dreams no matter their shape or size. I see. The model is also a podcast host on Girls Gotta Glow, which aims to promote confidence and empower women. Hosted by Sarah, the weekly podcast highlights conversations about topics ranging from body positivity, mental health, women's empowerment, and navigating girlhood. Oh, finally a podcast about navigating girlhood. I have been so lost. 
Its description on Spotify reveals that Sarah aspires to be real, raw, and honest to inspire others to glow as their authentic self. What does that mean? I want to inspire others to glow as their authentic self as well. That's real words. That really has a lot of meaning behind it. That's not just a bunch of stupid buzzwords that dumb people use to try to look intelligent or anything. I want to inspire authentic communication and an atmosphere of realness. Ugh. God, I hate those stupid buzzwords, dude. What are you trying to sell me? <laughs> Live your authentic life authentically. All right. Okay, shut up. The way that this is all worded like is complete brain rot and it makes me just want to take a bite out of my coffee cup until my mouth just starts bleeding. Like one day somebody's going to say something so stupid on this show that I'm just going to be like, yeah, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> and then I'm going to casually just set the cup down. and act like it didn't happen. Blood just pouring down my mouth. All right, here's this photo where she's smiling all super hard. Like, <laughs> I'm smiling so hard right now. Hold on, let me see. And then the caption underneath the photo says, the model is also a podcast host on Girls Gotta Glow, which aims to promote confidence and empower women. Cool, dude. Hell yeah. Here's her with this person. Hi, random person on the left. I don't know who you are. Sarah is also the first woman from Atmore to win the prestigious title. You go, Atmore. It's about time Atmore got some representation. Okay, so here are more photos of her wearing the National American Miss shirts and whatnot. Okay. Yep. Let's take a look at a couple comments underneath that article. Trolley says, no, this world where everyone gets a trophy needs to stop. Honestly, I agree. What's the point of a trophy, right? If everybody gets one, then nobody gets one. Promoting an unhealthy lifestyle is never a good thing. I thought this was a beauty contest, though. She may be a nice girl, but not to look at. So sad she chooses to look that way and be so unhealthy. Absolutely beggar's belief. Okay, I'm not familiar with that phrase. Sorry, UK. Beggar's belief. All right, let's learn things. Chiefly British. To be unbelievable or not deserving to be believed. To defy belief. It almost beggars belief that anyone can be so cruel. Oh, at first I was reading it like beggar's belief, like it's the belief of the beggar. But now I see it's more like it's begging the belief, if that makes sense. Okay. Mary Jane Sativa says she really is unhealthy looking. It's quite the last name there, Mary Jane. Quite the first name, too, huh? I'm a little slow, right? <laughs> Mary Jane Sativa. What an interesting last name. The first name is not interesting at all. I'm a little slow. Not now says, no, I'm fat, but this is ridiculous. Sorry, my voice cracked a little there. This person says, I thought those contests weren't about beauty, but poise and accomplishment. You thought the beauty pageants were about poise and accomplishment. Dude, get the fuck out. What are you, an idiot? <laughs> no. They're about being beautiful. That's why it's called a beauty pageant. It's not called a poise pageant or an accomplishment pageant. It's called a beauty pageant, my good sir. You guys never realized how passionate I was about beauty pageants, did you? Now you know. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Follow me on Instagram. Get to know the real me. Here's the link. I'm not actually passionate about beauty pageants. That's weird as hell. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take a look at another site talking about how this person is not really Miss Alabama at all. What's the big deal? Miss Alabama Sarah Milliken isn't the real Miss Alabama. An Atmore woman who won a state pageant is getting a lot of attention, but not in the way she probably hoped. Sarah Milliken worked for eight years to win the title of Miss National American Alabama. Worked for eight years, just nonstop. Working, doing what, who knows. Finally, in 2024, after three attempts, she was crowned in May. She was interviewed by WKRG in Mobile, and that's when her story went viral. People instantly began to point out the obvious. Milliken is obese. Wait, she's obese? Huh? Okay, here's a picture of her with some random chick in a cowboy hat. I'm feeling very inspired. Hashtag Sister Queen Saturday. 
That's my favorite hashtag. Ask my mama. All my life I've wanted a sister. I magically gained 17 sisters this past weekend, so you know I'm taking every chance I can to celebrate them. I have to start off this series off celebrating the sister queen I spent pageant weekend with. All right, I don't need to read this little story, okay? This is her talking about meeting this other person. Who cares? According to the World Health Organization, obesity has doubled worldwide since the 1990s, and that hasn't been helped by big and beautiful campaigns which encourage young girls and women to stay fat. In 2017, around 4.7 million people died of obesity. It also causes chronic disease that impacts quality of life. Despite the risks, there are still body and fat positive of influencers on platforms such as TikTok. Several of those influencers have died. And here's a video from Pegasus. Fat positive influencers are all dying. A week after Milliken appeared on WKRG, the station did another story about what they called cyberbullying and called it their number one story. They also called her Miss Alabama, which is not her title. How many days in a row are you going to report something on her? Asked Jordan Evans on Facebook. Your credibility as a professional news agency is coming into question. <laughs> you guys just keep reporting on obese beauty pageants every single day. National outlets quickly jumped on the bandwagon, continuing to call Milliken Miss Alabama. However, the misrepresentation of the title has gotten the attention of many people, including former Miss Alabama, Amy Beth Shaver. Shaver explained that there is only one Miss Alabama title, and that is for the pageant that sends competitors to Miss America. There is also Miss Alabama USA, which sends contestants to the Miss USA pageant. Miss America now is 101 years old, and then Miss USA, which goes on the Miss Universe pageant, Shaver said. But this National American Miss, no one has heard of it. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, so like I said, it's some BS pageant. There were like 10 people in that room filming her receiving the title or whatever. It literally seems like a PR stunt. Shaver said Miss America owns the rights to the Miss Alabama title, so it is improper to use that title for another other pageant. If you are a pageant person, you're only going to participate in either Miss America or Miss USA, Shaver added. The National American Miss Pageant awards winners with scholarships, self-care products, and other prizes. The program is based on positive self-image. Yeah, so it's not the real pageant at all. Milliken responded on Instagram to some of the comments about her weight. The things some people were saying truly was disgusting, she wrote. I choose not to dwell on that. However, there is an important to be had. There is an important what to be had. And I feel that as a title holder, it would be extremely irresponsible for me not to address the second part of this story. I feel oftentimes people resort to cyberbullying because it doesn't feel real, she continued. It's just words on a screen, right? It can't possibly cause physical harm. Wrong. Victims of cyberbullying are twice more likely to engage in self-harm and yada yada yada. And there you have it. She's not actually Miss Alabama at all. That title belongs to the Miss USA and Miss America pageants. No one's even heard of National American Miss. <laughs> it is in no way, shape, or form related to Miss America or Miss USA, for whom that title actually belongs. What do you think of this story? Do you think that this is promoting an unhealthy lifestyle? Do you think it's weird that the National American Miss competition has crowned this person Miss Alabama when that title belongs to the Miss America and Miss USA pageants? Leave a comment below. Happy Monday, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.